let's let's have a little chit chat about why I think you should reinvent the wheel. We're often told by pretty experienced developers or veterans of the field that you should not reinvent the wheel. But as with anything, a real seasoned developer would tell you it depends. <laughs> we all want out of tutorial hell, okay? We're stuck here and it's not okay. We're not okay. Reinventing the wheel is one way to get out of that. This is something that I've seen a lot of experienced developers do all the time. They find a project that they really like, that they use a lot, and they port it to some other language. Seems like the whole rewrite it in Rust joke might actually be good advice if you're in the right context. And that context would be on your own time, okay? And if you're looking to start a new project, I feel like I'm constantly trying to find the perfect project idea and it's really held me back for so long because I want to build a project that I would actually use, which means I have to start brainstorming what are pain points for me right now. And then I have to define all of the features that I might want for that thing. And then I have to figure out what kind of design, what kind of implementation I want to do, what kind of database I want to use. By the time I start coding, it's, it's been a lot. I got a lot of time invested into this thing. Uh, it honestly feels like a really big weight. <laughs> the nice thing when you are actually just using an existing code base as your template or forking that or rewriting it in your language of choice, you've got the idea, you've got the use cases, you've got all the features already lined up, and all you got to do is figure out how the thing works. You're just dissecting it, understanding it piece by piece. It's actually kind of similar to following a tutorial where you're being given steps and you do those things and you can kind of stick to the script or you can veer off a little bit and try to implement things your own way. And But you're doing this with an actual project where I think you can learn a lot more. But instead of following a video or a blog post, you're actually knee deep in the code. I find that with rewriting a project because it removes so much of the pre-coding efforts with planning and design that there's a lot less pressure on me to make the project perfect. It's nice to knowing that like, oh, you know, on those rough days, on those days where like the brain's, the brain's not at full capacity, the solution's right there. Like the person's already figured it out. And it's cool too, because along the way, you can find things in their implementation and question, why did they make this design choice? What can I learn from the steps here? Is there something that I would do different? And you can change those things in your own code base. And it's just, it feels to me a bit more like a playground. When you are creating your own project from scratch, you're in a sandbox. But when you're reinventing the wheel, rewriting your favorite project in the new language that you're stoked about, maybe Zig, there's a swing set, it's a slide, there's some stuff you can work with. Maybe you wanna redesign the playground a little bit. You get to do that, you can do whatever you want, all right? The playground's already there, it works as is, but you might as well learn from it. I've found for myself, I've, shied away from reinventing the wheel in part because I thought that it was a bad thing. One thing I like to do on the internet is share my own perspective and my own experiences because I think there's some people out there that maybe have similar experiences or issues or blockers as I do. When I hear somebody else in the field that's having very similar challenges to me, it's super validating and I actually find it really uplifting. So that's part of why I really like to share my journey in tech. I've held myself back a lot by believing that I shouldn't reinvent the wheel. It contributed to me shying away from greenfield projects. That's one of the reasons. Honestly, I probably would have more of my own projects on my GitHub repo if I'd actually take my own advice and rewrite some of my favorite projects in a new language or even just rewrite it from scratch. Like try not to copy paste, try and actually understand what each of the functions are doing. This is part of the beauty of open source and it's kind of ironic that it's taken me so long to figure this out, I think. Greenfield projects to me for a long time felt like there was a lot of pressure associated with them. This could be because I want to make everything perfect immediately. And as soon as I've done the planning and design, I want it to be this perfect project that will be useful to myself and maybe to others and it will scale and it will be relevant in a year from now and two years from now. We're not like any of the GNU projects that have been out there for 20 years. We're aiming for a year of being relevant. Because of that pressure, I wouldn't feel excited to work on side projects anymore. But I gotta say, I do feel much more, I feel revitalized <laughs> after realizing that I can just rewrite things. 
I'm really curious if others have had that experience, if they've been like intimidated by greenfield projects because they feel like when they start a new project, they have all of the expectations in the world. It's funny though, because I feel like when I've built my own stuff, it's like down the line, I'm just like, I just, I just gotta get this bug fixed. I just gotta get this feature out, you know? The, the bar, the bar definitely drops. But for some reason, it's like when you're just a fresh spring chicken and you're in the beginning parts of your project, you're like, what if this is the next Google? You know, it's like, where did that, where did that even come from? Like, hello? All of that is to say, allow yourself to be inspired by others and their work. And this is part of the beauty of the open source community. So just rewrite it in anything but Rust. Okay, I'm sick of the Rust stations. All right. <laughs> Let me know if you're working on any cool projects as well in the comments. I would love to review some of your projects. I do have a bash reviews channel on Discord that I will be revitalizing, I promise. I pinky swear. See you next time. Bye.